and out of everything the one thing that you pointed out that is what a memory something that is actually scientifically proven hi this is shoto and welcome to my youtube channel well in this video i'm going to talk about what a memory what's my take on it and how i practice it in my everyday life well i remember once i had a q and a on my insta story and someone asked me do you believe everything that sadguru says as for example water has memory and my reaction was like just think about it the concept of spirituality i mean just think about the concept of being a spirit that sounds totally ridiculous for someone who is like not into conscious living and who has never experienced it right and the spiritual world is full of unscientific things by unscientific things i mean things that cannot be measured by science or it's not taught in our science textbook but you can only experience it by experimenting it in your daily life do you know what i mean and out of everything the one thing that you pointed out that is what a memory something that is actually scientifically proven and that's the funny part well i don't want to go much into that scientific part you can simply google it there are many old scientific youtube videos on what a memory there are multiple experiments on it so you should definitely go and check that out maybe i'm going to put some links in my description also okay so what is the spiritual significance of what a memory okay so the concept of panchabhuta or five elements our body is made out of five elements that is fire water earth air and space which i had no idea until i attended panchabhuta aradhana and i experienced oh my god there was so much inside me something that is going to sound completely ridiculous for a scientific person and out of this five elements like more than 70% of our body is water everyone knows that right so just think about it the water we drink every day do you really want to drink good quality water or like garbage water by garbage water i'm not talking about like impure water water has memory and when you handle your water nicely you energize your water in a positive way it affects you your body and your thoughts in a very positive way because i had some real big anger issues which i have fixed all by my own without any help of a therapist you don't have to do some complicated ritual or puja pad or anything for that what i do in my everyday life is the water i drink i take care of it this is my copper water bottle i take care of it as if it's not an object i keep it in a nice place and i take care of it so that people don't trash talk around my water also i have another bottle which is a glass bottle so when you are using a glass bottle obviously you're going to take care of it so that it doesn't break you're going to look at it in a way like it's my water it's not like just i took it and like ah, shouldn't be like this you know and before drinking water i just bless it with some good thoughts like i am a peaceful soul i am a powerful soul my life is perfect my relationships are perfect my health is perfect everything nice and then i drink it so it's like automatically some good thoughts are there inside my water and when you bless your water and then consume it you will see how it affects your thoughts and your mind you feel positive you don't feel like irritated all the time you don't feel angry anymore i fix my anger issues even before going to isha yoga center for inner engineering i fix it all by myself just by practicing water memory just by doing simple guided online meditation that's it also some people say don't drink water from a person who is not in a good mood you can actually fix that too you just take it and you put your positivity into it and then drink it you know what i mean it's very simple thing you just need to experiment it and you will realize how big of an impact it can make in your daily life okay so that's it for you guys give it a thumbs up or thumbs down whatever you like and let me know your take on what a memory if you were open to try it or you just going to ridicule it because ah oh, it's pseudo science i don't believe it and all have an open mind and try it i would say that's it bye